What about 50 for all of it? Morning. How much is your uh, punching bag? Um, fifteen dollars. Fifteen bucks. Would you do ten for it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And I have a set of gloves here. Oh, cool. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You need any help? I think you should be able to get okay. it. Thank you, though. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to get your shoes here. Okay. How much is it? $3. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. You do the same. How much is your sports stuff? She, I don't. She's not. I mean, she's got seventy-five on all of it. 75 for everything? Yeah, but we, uh, she's not sure on. <clears throat> what about 50 for all of it? Um, I, I know she told me 100 and to go down to 75, so um, I okay. can ask. Yeah, I don't, there's a couple things I don't really want, like the uh, cereal boxes and some of the Beanie Babies. Like, I could leave some of that, and I'd do 50 bucks. Let me just call her. Okay, sure. Easier. Hey, um, I just want to check. Somebody's offering me 50 on, and he doesn't want the cereal boxes or the Beanie Babies. Do you want to split it up or not? I've had a lot of people look at it, but they're like, eh. He doesn't want the Beanie Baby Babies or the cereal boxes. Is that that was it? Yeah, these two and these. That's that's fine. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. She said yep. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you for making the call. Yeah. No problem. It sucks being the middleman sometimes. It does. <laughs> you, <are right. laughs> you better be getting a commission. I, I think I need to give her some for letting me bring my stuff over here. You got all that? I believe so, yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull up my car maybe to load it. Sure. You got both of those? Uh, 20, 25. 20, 25. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. Oh, well, cause she's like it. And then she's been inside. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy your cart. Pardon? I'm going to buy your cart. Okay. There you go. Thank you. No problem. Morning. Morning. How are you doing today? Good. I just bought that. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I've, I've done do that so many time. times. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always trying to buy stuff that people have already bought. Stuff sitting around. It's fair game. Really. Oh. Yeah, we listen to Dave 
Ramsey? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good guy. Would you take five for it? Sure. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. How much is your glove? Uh, it's like a couple bucks. A couple bucks of work. You have any bats? No. Any like reds memorabilia or sports memorabilia? No. How much is your movie poster? Uh, $3. I'm gonna buy that, that's pretty cool. Okay. There you go, thank you. Good, how you doing? These are all a dollar a bag? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want them all? Um, I don't oh, know if I need oh, all of them. Oh, no, you're picking out what you want. Yeah, I think so. I was so. going to say, you could cut the deal. I got nine of them. Nine? Yep. Oh, okay. Do you have a grocery bag I can put them all in? Okay. There you go. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I'm gonna get your webcam too. Okay. I think I've got a five in here somewhere. There you go. Right, thank, you. thank you. All right. Two, three, five. You have any more band shirts like this? That's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, I got six of them at a quarter each. Okay. A dollar fifty. We'll just round it up to two bucks. All right. There you go. Thank you. Well, six for quarter. Well, why don't I just take a buck? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> How much are your golf clubs? Logan, you're the golf club guy. I'll let you do that. Got uh, the Tylos irons and a tailor made. And then the hybrid. Uh, hybrid, yeah. yeah. Uh, Is 25 one. fine for all that? Uh, I'm about 20. That's fine. All right, thank you. I saw your red stuff. Do you have any like bobbleheads or anything? Bobbleheads? 
Actually, upstairs. I'm trying to think. I've, I've got a bobblehead upstairs. It's like a. Jay Bruce or Joey Jay Bruce, okay. I can go look upstairs. Yeah, sure. Almost have gotten rid of it. Oh, that's all right. Thanks for looking. Yeah, no you guys have a good day. Thank you so much. Take care now. Enjoy. How are you doing? Hello. How much are your hats? Uh, the Jets hat just because brand new. I'm asking five, but the other ones are dollar. Okay. Um, that's an, a set of astronomy binoculars. I know. I used to have telescopes in my. Okay. That's what got my attention. It's like over a three hundred dollar setup. I'm I'm asking like eighty for it. Yeah, that's staying low. Yeah, the stand was uh, one twenty. I think over a hundred. The binoculars themselves are about two hundred. How uh, strong is that? Does this get you a stand or a telescope? Or? I've not used it for that. So. Oh, How much is your brush thing? A dollar. So. Go. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. How much is your nest? That's over a hundred dollars online. I I'd ask like eighty for it. Okay. Doctor Camelback. Camelback's brand new at two twenty five. Twenty five. Have a good day. I'm back from the garage sales and I found a ton of stuff today. I'm really excited to show you guys. All right, we'll start over here. I got a lot of clothing, not super exciting, but I do think it's some pretty good stuff. This is a Shop Brothers jacket and it is kind of like a, I guess like a World War II memorial type thing. It says, remember me, victory belongs to the most preserving. And I think it's some kind of military, to be honest. I paid five for it. Not really sure what it's worth. At that same sale, I got a bunch of band t-shirts for a quarter each. Here is Benfolds 5, Fish. Here's Live and County Crow Summer Tour 2000. Uh, this is Red Rocks Legends. Red Rocks is an amphitheater in Colorado. I've actually been there. I didn't get to see a concert, but I at least checked it out. Let's see, this is from 98. And it looks like it's just got like some of the best bands that played there. Uh, R.E.M., John Mellencamp, Dave Matthews Band, Megadeth, Bon Jovi, Pearl Jam. It's pretty cool. Here's Journey. That is their 1999 tour. And here's another fish shirt. Picked up this Reds mug for two bucks. Got these Timberland boots for three dollars. And I've never seen boots quite like that. No, I didn't even know they made Timberlands like that. So that's pretty interesting. Got this uh, proactive uh, cleaning brush for a dollar. Sells for about $20. Anytime I can pick up proactive stuff for cheap, I grab it. Got this Nashville bag. It honestly might not be worth anything. I just thought it had a cool vintage look to it. And it says, hi, y'all. I paid $3 for that. I got one, two, three, I think there's nine. Nine bags of vintage Hot Wheels and Matchbox for a dollar each. So I'm into all of them for nine bucks. I think there's probably about 50, 50 of them or so. Got some um, vintage Buddy L cars for a quarter each. Picked up this Logitech C920 webcam for $5. Uh, values on these have gone way up recently since everybody's working from home and doing Zoom calls. So that should do really well. Got this G.I. Joe, like, uh, is it Lego? No, it's some kind of like knockoff brick thing. Uh, that was $3. Got a Panasonic Panabrader 7 for a dollar. Don't know really why I bought that. Might not be worth anything. I thought this poster was really cool. Uh, this is the original Freaky Friday movie uh, in the frame and everything. That was three bucks. That's going to go to the antique booth. All right, and coming over here, I got a set of Titleist DCI irons and a uh, tailor-made hybrid. I got all those for 20. Got this Wilson A2000 glove. This is an older model of the A2000. So it's not worth as much as the newer ones. This might be a $50 glove. If you do find the newer A2000 gloves, you're looking at $100, $150. Uh, but this was only like $2, I think. So 
Definitely had to pick that up. I got Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. It's all in there. I checked. Paid five bucks for that. It's worth about 20, 25. Got this yellow cart for five bucks. I think this is gonna do really good in my antique booth. This type of stuff sells pretty well. I uh, got some more shirts at one sale. They were, I think they were two dollars each. I think I'm just gonna keep them all. They were pretty much all my size except for one soccer shirt. I'll try to pull out here. This one right here, this is Adidas. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name because I'm sure I'm going to butcher it. Uh, but whoever the team is, they won uh, FIFA World Championships 2014. I want to say it's probably Germany. And I think I'll get probably 20 bucks just for that one. And then I bought six boxes of Ken Griffey Jr. memorabilia. None of this stuff is all that great. There's a lot of starting lineup figures. And these things just aren't super valuable. Uh, I'm probably going to put them in the antique booth and hope to get, you know, eight to ten dollars a piece maybe but there's a lot of volume there's <laughs> quite a few of these things in here there's like some random stuff like a folder what's this some kind of big zenith print here's a clock but it is broke unfortunately poster oh that's cool king griffey jr king griffey senior yeah that's pretty neat um there's some baseballs they're all like facsimile you know, stamped autographs, so they're not real. Here's a hat, with a little bit of duct tape on there. Here's another box of some starting lineups. Once again, they're all King Griffey Jr. Uh, I think this is a McFarland figure. That's pretty cool. That might be worth a little bit more money. Here's some programs. Let's see, what are these? That's pretty neat. Just a King Griffey Jr. book. All right, in this box, there's some cereal, another little figure. Another starting the lineup. Interesting. O2 power kind of drink. Here's a little stand-up thing. A couple different cards on plaques. Be nice if they had his rookie card in here, but I haven't seen it yet. There's a big photo on a plaque. Some more figures. Here's a bobblehead. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen this. Jersey tops? Huh. It's different. A couple of starting lineups. I think this is a t-shirt? Huh. King Griffey Jr. t-shirt. Here's another picture. A couple more starting lineups. It's a big one right there. And a big box of cards. So. If his rookie card is in here, it'll be in this box. I don't think all of these are King Griffey Jr. cards. So like some Alex Rodriguez, Edgar Martinez. Those are just top loaders. Football cards. I'd say most of these are probably worthless. Pretty much all the cards made in the 80s and 90s just aren't worth a whole lot. If I do find this rookie card in here, that might be worth 20 or 30 bucks. I paid 50 bucks for all this stuff. I might get 100, 150 for it. Um, not huge value, but I like King Griffey Jr. And I think it'll all sell pretty well over time. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.